What's up Chiefs Kingdom, Noah Gray here, tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Joss's channel and check out showmefootball.com for more. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fan of showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com. And I wanted to react today to what the NFL is doing to resolve the Monday night football game between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals, which ultimately ended up being canceled. Obviously due to the incident with DeMar Hamlin and him collapsing on the field. So first, let's just go over what exactly is happening, what the NFL and the owners did to adjust the AFC playoffs. I have an article from NFL.com and uh, it basically details the entire thing just so you know that I'm going by exactly everything that the NFL itself is saying. So again, this article is from NFL.com and it states NFL owners approved a resolution Friday during a special league meeting to potentially adjust the AFC postseason, including possibly playing a conference championship game at a neutral site, the league announced on Friday. Friday's resolution consists of two main elements. One, the AFC Championship game will be played at a neutral site if Buffalo and Kansas City both win or tie in Week 18 and both teams advance to the AFC title game. Buffalo could also, and Kansas City could also lose, plus Cincinnati also loses or ties in Week 18, and then Buffalo and Kansas City advance to the AFC title game. Then we would also see a neutral site game. Or we have Buffalo and Kansas City both lose. Cincinnati wins the AFC title game as either Bills Chiefs or Bengals Chiefs. I know that's a lot to take in there, so we'll touch on it here in a bit. Uh, but I'll finish the rest of the article. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell will determine the neutral site of the title game if one is required. Secondly, if the Ravens defeat Cincinnati in Week 18 and the Chargers beat the Denver Broncos, and if Baltimore and Cincinnati are scheduled to play a wild card game against one another, the site for that game would be determined by a coin toss. If Cincinnati wins the Week 18 game, or if Baltimore and Cincinnati are not scheduled to play one another in the wild card round, the game sites would be determined by the regular scheduling procedures. So to clarify this from a Chiefs perspective, if the Chiefs well, okay, first of all, the Chiefs are currently the one seed now. Like, that's the way it happened. The Bengals and the Bills are not going to be playing again. That game got canceled, so the Chiefs are the one seed. And the Chiefs will remain the one seed, and they will be the one seed heading into the postseason if all they do is just simply beat the Raiders today. Now, my initial reaction to this, while it may seem unfair that the Chiefs are kind of being rewarded the one seed out of all of this, um... You know, I'm not going to pretend to know whether or not the Bills and the Bengals could have made up this game, but just refused to do it. But either way, the game is not being played. Those two teams have played one less game. And feel free to disagree with me on this. I'm sure some people will because obviously both of those teams went through a lot this past week. But both the Bills and the Bengals are essentially getting a bye this week because they never played that game. I mean, they pretty much played five minutes of football and then the game was over. And I'm sorry, but if you're not going to make up the game at some point, if it's true that the Bengals or the Bills, whoever, decided they weren't going to make up this game, well, you can't just say, no, we don't want to make up the game, and then act surprised when the league decides to give the Chiefs the one seed because you didn't make up the game. And again, I know it's probably going to be unfair. A lot of people are going to view it as unfair, and I know a lot of people don't like the sound of that, but... You know, the league has to move forward somehow, and the Bills definitely don't deserve to be the one seed by playing one less game. I mean, if you're going by a win percentage, the Chiefs have a better win percentage. They're going to have a better record. They have more wins. You know, they're the one seed. I'm glad the NFL was also able to come to a resolution relatively quickly on this whole matter because I was sitting here wondering, if we don't hear anything by, like, Friday, you know, the Chiefs aren't going to know whether or not this game means anything because there was a world in which uh, the NFL could have said, hey, Kansas City, great, you beat the Raiders, but guess what? That win doesn't really matter. It doesn't give you anything. When the Chiefs could have been resting their starters or something if they could have been no better than the two seed. I think of all the crazy scenarios that were being thrown out there by the NFL and NFL reporters about what could happen with this game and what could happen to playoff seeding, I think this one is probably the best that they could have come to. Now, okay, actually, I take that back. The other scenario that I would have liked to see happen is the Bills and the Bengals make up the game at some point sometime this week, but obviously that got ruled out at the very beginning. Literally the day after the game, the NFL said, yeah, this game is not happening this week. 
Um, that would have been the best solution, though, because now they're doing all this moving around, changing of the rules, because there's at least one team that's going to get shafted out of this, and that team is the Bengals, which I'll touch on in a minute. Um, now people are going to argue with me. They're going to say, oh, how dare you suggest that the Bills and the Bengals resume this game? You know, they, they can't go out there and play. I understand what happened to Mar Hamlin is a really tragic situation. It's hard mentally to go out there and play after something like that happens. But the Bills and the Bengals are both going to be playing a game next week. You know, they're playing their next game. Is there really that big of a difference between playing next week and making up this Bills Bengals game sometime this week when, again, we don't really know if that was an option? I don't know if the NFL came up to the Bills and said, How would you feel about making up this game this week? But if they said no, hypothetically, no, that's on them. You know, you can't refuse to play the game and then be mad that you're not the one seed anymore because you played one less game than everybody else. But anyway. I think this is probably the fair solution that they could have come to considering the fact that they're just not going to make up that game. Um, the Chiefs are the one seed, so that's good. I mean, it sucks that you had to earn it this way, or you didn't really earn it necessarily. It sucks that they had to get it this way, but it is what it is. And I'm just glad that the Chiefs even had the opportunity to get the one seed because, again, I think there was a scenario out there where the Chiefs could have gotten shafted and there was no way for them to earn the one seed. And um, the one seed is very important because even though uh, there's potential for a neutral site game and the Chiefs might not even host their own AFC championship game as the one seed, I take the bye week every single time. As long as the Chiefs are getting that bye week, I'm happy, man. We needed that bye week. We so badly needed that bye week, not only because of Andy's record coming off the bye week, not only because the Chiefs have a little bit of injuries. I think of Joe Tooney um, that could use the bye week. Yeah, the bye week is just very important to me. I don't care who we play. I don't care if getting the bye week means we have to play a tougher opponent later on because you're going to have to go through the best anyway. I don't care who we play. I want the bye week. As far as the neutral site thing, it sucks because, well, one, there's a big possibility that the Chiefs could be the one seed and not be able to host their own playoff game despite the fact that They are the superior seed. Um, Two, also, it's a lot of lost money. You know, a lot of these, like Kansas City, for example, they would be losing millions of dollars by not being able to host the AFC Championship game, for example. However, Kansas City really doesn't need home field advantage, in my opinion. I mean, would it be nice? Sure. But I don't think home field advantage in the playoffs has mattered that much for Kansas City. They've won plenty of road playoff games, all right? Plus, Chiefs fans travel well. If they play this game at a neutral site, and let's just say it's Vegas, for example, I know there's going to be a ton of Chiefs fans in Vegas. Secondly, if you look at Mahomes' splits um, in the playoffs, uh, road versus home, the Chiefs, sometimes they start out really slow at home, and sometimes they're just, they play out of sorts at home. They almost play better on the road. And really... Look, the Chiefs have hosted four straight AFC Championship games. They're 2-2 two and two in those AFC Championship games. I just don't think it matters all that much if they play at home or at a neutral site. Now, if they were going to play in, like, Buffalo, that's a different story, which is still a possibility if the Chiefs were to screw up this weekend versus the Raiders or something like that and a couple other things happen. But um, if this game is played on a neutral site, I really have no problem with that. Honestly, I think it might even be better for the Chiefs if it's played on a neutral site. Like I said, though, there's a couple scenarios in which it's not played at a neutral site. KC could just lose to the Raiders, and then they could go to Buffalo for a playoff game. And if Buffalo were to lose out, then they could still be coming to KC. You know, that's not out of the question. There are a couple scenarios in which Buffalo would have to come to KC for the AFC Championship game. Overall, KC made it out pretty well with this. Um, They get the bye week. They're the one seed, you know, assuming they beat the Raiders and everything. Because if they beat the Raiders, I mean, they're finishing no worse than the one seed. Um, And then it's between the Bengals and the Bills at that point what happens with them. Now, the Bengals, they kind of got screwed over here because Cincinnati controlled their own destiny heading into that Monday night football game. If they beat Buffalo in that game, they're the two seed. And now with this new... AFC kind of playoff format, um, the Bengals really, they, they, they can't do anything to advance themselves. The Bengals even had an opportunity to become the one seed had that game been finished and they had won, but now it's a long shot that they can even be the two seed 
and they're going to have to play a neutral site, and there's no chance at them for a bye week because the game got canceled. Like, even though they were the good guys in this situation and they handled the DeMar Hamlin situation very well and they were very supportive of the Bills all the way through, they're just getting screwed over. I mean, even the NFL is changing the rules on them by essentially keeping them stuck at the three seed. And the Ravens are also getting screwed as well because if that game had been played and the Bengals had lost, the Ravens still had a chance to win the AFC North. Now the Ravens have zero shot to win the AFC North because even if they beat the Bengals, the Bengals are still going to have a better record. And even worse, if the Bengals and the Ravens are to meet up again in the wild card, home field is going to be decided by a coin flip. A coin flip. So I understand why the Bengals are upset, man. I mean, they just... They got the short end of the stick in this one because the league essentially changed the rules on them uh, because there were rules in place for something like this, and that would have meant that the Bengals would have more control over their destiny, and now they really can't do anything. They're being punished almost from the Bills-Bengals game. And the Bills, really, what happened to them was terrible, and you know they're managing the best that they can, and they also didn't exactly come out on top of all this but they are being benefited a little bit even though they are playing in one less game than most other teams overall though i mean looking at this from a chiefs perspective the chiefs made it out pretty well they're the one seed and they're going to get a bye i don't know about home field advantage i don't really care that much about home field advantage personally but they're the one seed and they got a bye they just got to take care of business against the raiders and everything's going to be all right Some people are going to try to put an asterisk next to whatever the Chiefs do this postseason because of the fact that they're the one seed. But you know what? When the owners went to vote on this and approved this new AFC playoff format, the Chiefs abstained from voting. They essentially voted against themselves because they were not comfortable because, of course, they were going to be the one seed after all this. They felt like that was biased, so they didn't vote. And they were still given the one seed. So I don't want to hear anything from anybody. We didn't accept the one seed necessarily, and we still got it. And that's just the way it is because, look, the Bills and Bengals never played the game. You can't not play a game and then be surprised when you're not the one seed anymore or the two seed. It was a very tough situation. It was a unique thing that we've never seen before. I think the league handled it relatively well, and I'm just glad they were able to come to a conclusion in a timely manner because had they dragged this out, a lot of teams would have been wondering, hey, what the heck's going on? Do we need to play our starters this weekend or do we not? So, yeah, those are my thoughts, guys. Uh, I would love to hear from you, though. What are your thoughts on all this? You know, how do you feel about how the Chiefs made it out? Do you feel like the Bengals got screwed as well? Uh, What do you think about the Bills' position and all this? Let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, one more note. I know a lot of people said that the Chiefs should relinquish the one seed out of respect. I'm sorry. That is effing ridiculous. They're not relinquishing the one seed. They're not giving up the one seed. That, That would be dumb, okay? Like, they should not make themselves suffer from this just like the Bengals because something unforeseen happened that they weren't even involved in. Like the Bengals, it's one thing because they were involved in all of it. The Chiefs had nothing to do with any of this, okay? So it is what it is. I'm sorry. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and arrowheadaddict.com. Go Chiefs!